We visited my hometown, Libby, Montana, here last week. One of the first things we did was took a drive up to Sweden Mountain. When I was a kid, we used to take all of the visitors when they'd come to town from out of town up to Sweden Mountain. And as kids, we used to run up those five flights of stairs. Most of the time when we got up to the top, the hatch would be closed and locked, and so we couldn't go on up into it. But if it was manned, we could go up and they would give us a tour. It was always exciting. Here's a view coming into the lookout. It's just, you know, beautiful country. It was hot. It was a little bit smoky, but you know what? It was home. I don't think that the Forest Service uses it anymore. I believe it's just a rental. People can rent it for a weekend or a week. Can you imagine waking up to sunrises and going to bed with sunsets from that viewpoint? Here's a little closer look. You see the white cabinet right in the center? That's where the azimuth dial was. I don't know what they really call it. But where they could spin that dial around and pinpoint where the fire was and they could report in. And hopefully get the fire out in a hurry. Unlike today, where it seems like everything's on fire. The windows are open, so somebody's airing it out. So I would assume that it's inhabited right now. Somebody's probably getting ready to rent it, or maybe they already are. But there was no one around when we were there. I don't know how many years that structure's been there, but it's it's been a long time. You know, I'm 73 now, so I think probably the last time I climbed it, I was about 13. Hard to believe that's 60 years gone by. Look at that country. That's Kootenai River on the left down there. We'll spin right on around here. We're looking to the north. Then we'll come on around and We'll take a good look at the cabinets, which are kind of covered with smoke right now. And that's a cabinet mountain range coming into view over there behind us. Valley down below is Libby, Montana. Kootenai Valley. It's too bad the smoke was so thick in there, but you know what? You do what you got to do. Those cabinets are just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, there's a little bit of the Kootenai River coming into view down by Libby. That's Libby right there, I do believe. And then we spin right on around, and we get another glimpse of the Kootenai River coming in. This one is somewhere in the area of the old vermiculite mine that contaminated a lot of the area there. Gave a lot of us asbestos poisoning but that's another story if I had to go over again I'd still love to grow up there there's more of the Kootenai River coming into view and this is just downstream from Libby Dam and Lake Kukanusa that was my first construction project was Libby Dam project here's a little closer look at the lookout we'll kind of spin around here and just I think there's five flights of stairs going up. And I really can't tell you what the house underneath the main main house is, but I would assume that it's facilities, restroom facilities. If not, it's storage. You can see lots of antennas around and you see a couple of propane tanks down there on the ground. My old Jeep, doors open. It was hot and my wife was tolerating me droning. She's pretty good sport about it. Just gotta love this country. It just doesn't get any more beautiful than this. Let's go in and kind of take a closer look at the lookout. See a few windows open and they're air and you know it, it's got to get hot in there because it's like a greenhouse. 
I see one hatch panel on the roof. It looks like for access. Somebody commented on why the solar panels are mounted down like that, and I have not got a clue. You see them down there on this one floor down. There's an, more of them. I'd like to spend a weekend there. Thank you.